Yo, what's going on guys? It's up here. We're going to talk about the top five best update that was actually available in Arsenal. Obviously, as you guys are aware, there's tons and tons of updates regarding around Arsenal, such as the summer one, the Valentine's update, Valentine's update two and three, April Fool's update and so on. I'm just going to cut down to some of them and show you guys what they were actually available, when they were available and which one was fun and which one was actually challenging and worth actually doing. Before the video does start, please go ahead, leave a like and subscribe if you guys are new. I do appreciate every single one one of you so if you guys could do that it mean the world to me but yeah let's get on with the video so firstly we are going to talk about the slaughter event the slaughter event was actually released on feb the 3rd 2021 and the slaughter event really just consists of fnaf if you guys don't know what that is or whatever it's called it is that horror game where you guys actually have to go ahead and avoid dying i guess in a way i don't really play those type of games but yes and this event actually gave you a few rewards and there was actually five skins that you guys could actually be given by defeating these five knights and yes you guys can still do this event so if you guys actually do want to go ahead so the skins you guys actually were given was the dealer ninja performer rabble rouser and delinquent obviously animatronic versions and then you've got the slaughter delinquent as you guys are aware those skins are represented by the npcs that chase you around the map but yes that is my number one pick for one of the best ones because it was very challenging and it had a sense of reward and people were actually speed running it which was kind of cool but yeah that's my first one so obviously the second one i'm going to pick was the halloween update halloween update the first one was launched on october 24th 2019 like i said sadly i didn't play this but i can't really give my experiences regarding around this but i can show you guys information on what things you guys could actually get but yeah this literally included with seven new weapons as you guys can see two new maps and safe house was remade or renamed into haunted house we were actually given 23 skins i'm not going to name them all but here are the skins that you guys were available to overall really cool and obviously the most important part was the melee for me it was the melee you guys are probably aware already on how to get the band hammer so i'm not going to suggest how you got that the crowbar the claw kitchen knife pitchfork rubber hammer and scythe i've got some of these but Sadly, I didn't get the OG ones, which kind of sucks. Obviously, you get some kill effects and some taunts. And there was a few game modes that were actually added, which was Clown Infection and Juggernaut. Overall, the update was really good. Probably considered one of the best updates, I guess. At number three, we actually have the summer update. It was the first summer update, and it was actually released on June the 5th, 2019. And this actually implemented 12 new weapons into Arsenal, 4 new maps and 11 skins the skins are always the important part but if you guys don't know you guys could have got the shark skin which is one of my favorite but i'm not going to spend anything to get that you guys actually were given also the bat which was one of my favorite melees also so yeah hopefully you guys got that sadly i didn't and a few some kill effects that were really og overall really good i wish i had it though okay probably this is the most recent one we had so this was the retro palooza and it was actually released on march the 10th 2023 obviously this consists of loads of things a lot of people were speculating on how to get the shard skin before they even actually announced the event as you guys are aware what happened in that event was where you guys actually had to go into brick battle and you guys actually had to knock down structures to get some bricks you guys can actually go ahead and purchase these items to make these avatars as you guys can see these are the avatars the 12 skins that you guys could actually make a few weeks later or a few days later i'm not even too sure how long it took but i think it was like two weeks exony actually added this shard skin obviously everyone was searching for it i was actually streaming it we actually found it god knows how we found it first which was kind of insane at that time and everyone joined in but yeah that was one of the best updates that we recently got and now into the final one everyone probably already knows this and it is called the night edge event or the night ends event and the night end event was actually released on january the 6th 2022 and this literally just consists of you guys actually going into this small event where you guys actually go ahead and actually earn these swords 
which consists of having seven rewards, which were dev melees. But you could have gotten them prior to this event. But if you guys weren't actually able to get it before the event, you guys were able to actually get it on this event. Obviously, everyone was sought after the Night Edge, whatever it's called, or the Dark Heart. Yeah, the Dark Heart. Everyone wanted that. I actually didn't get that. And you guys were actually given more items. You had the Milo, unusual effects. You had the Moa, which was the melee. And uh, so you had one of those enchantment table frogs thing as unusual for your character, the selected character. And uh, so if you guys actually had the portal kill effects, but you guys actually had to get it really quick before everyone could get it, you were insanely lucky. Sadly, I didn't get that one. Yes, those are my top picks of the best updates that i think was available in arsenal obviously everyone just got their own opinion let me know down in the comment section which one is just your favorite but yeah other than that leave a like and subscribe i'll see you guys in the next one bye, -bye.